やっと戻ってきたなイーノック迷いもすっかり振り切ったようだな次はアラキュエルが支配する世界だあいつも全力で邪魔してくるだろう気にするなお前ならやれるよ溜め込んだ汚れを取り除くためイーノックは肉体を地上界に残したまま展開に戻ったイーノックはこれまでの戦いを振り返り己の使命に疑問を抱くようになっていたが天使たちの声を聞き展開から人々を見て時間をかけて疑問を解き再び地上界へ戻ったそして休む間もなくエゼキエルと戦うイシュタールのもとへと急ぐのだった。Welcome back to Let's Play El Shaddai. The darkness has been purged and we're back. And we're ready to wreck some face. Four of the Archangels still exist. And right now, Ishtar is battling Ezekiel. Who's been eluding us the entire climb thus far? Ishtar has redoubled the spirit. Of everyone, all of the freemen that have been fighting against the Archangels. And with that, hope is not yet lost. Yeah. Hmm. That's right, it was mentioned that this is Arakiel's floor. And this is perhaps my favorite floor. Second favorite floor. In the entire game. I love the aesthetic in here. The hard geometry. You can take your pick, jump on whatever you want to jump on. I'm sure you'll get there eventually. And this floor. Is actually where the final of Ishtar's bones is. Okay, now, fair warning, these guys are a pain in the butt, but then, like, all arch enemies are anyway. Okay, give me that, because I'm already. Wow, that went, like, infinitely better than the first time I fought them. Now we have a weapon! Of course she is! She's friggin' Ishtar! We don't actually have to fight anymore here, but the conspicuous looking block is a switch. And I love the aesthetic in here, this really hard, simplistic geometry. I've already said, I think I'd like it better if not, like, if the designs on the blocks weren't there, just to give this much more. It's much smoother appearance. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
せになりたくないのThe battle between Ishtar and Ezekiel rages on. We've got to rush to them as fast as we can, fighting a fallen angel? She may be as pure a spirit as they come, strong-willed and strong herself, but she is also fighting an angel. Granted, it's been said that we're nothing special ourselves. We, too, are also merely human. We've been granted eternal life by God. We no longer age. But that's about it, really. Now, this area is really just a rather large maze. <laughs> You can make a wrong decision, as I already have, because I kind of wanted to show off the whole area. These are not really shortcuts, so they're not even really that helpful. That is the exit that we see before us. So we need to figure out how to get there. Okay, this is twice now. Whoops. Well, hey, that was a quick trip back. This is twice now that I've gone the wrong direction intentionally, I'll add. Ah, so there is a right path from here. These aren't necessarily shortcuts, they simply take me back here where once again there's nothing I can do. I am curious... Yeah, I do actually want to go up that way. The correct path is to the right. I know it's either to the right here or the right on the previous platform. You can go right here, though. Yeah, and then you go down. That leads me to believe... Ah! Good thing I was exploring. So, Arachiel. We haven't even seen. No one has even seen. And that just takes us back to the beginning. Is there an up or down here? No. In which case, I'm fairly certain that is the wrong way there. I'm fairly certain we do have to go up and about then. Oh, poo. 
Okay, at this point, I think I've explored about all there is to explore here. To get to the exit... I'm fairly certain you're going to be wanting to go... right or up here. I think... I think you want to go right. No, you don't. You want to go right here. Which will then take you up and over. These are actually a little on the tricky side to get a handle of. They, you don't hit jump when you think you need to. Like, you would think, oh, I need to hit jump, like, as I'm going up and bouncing, and it'll, like, make me bounce higher. Or maybe not as I'm bouncing, but as I'm rising up. But no, I'm pretty sure you actually hit the button as you're lowering. Yeah, as you're lowering, you hit jump, and it will simply spring you in the air some random amount of time, or some random amount of space. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I should certainly hope so. You know what I just went through? Crap, hit my head. Nope, I want to be centered. You can time your jumps to a degree. I have no idea what I was trying to do there. You can time your jumps to a degree. That is apparently death. Hole in the ground making you think there's something down there is just death. All right. I could have sworn there was a Freeman down here. And maybe it's just a heart. Or perhaps it's up here. Yeah. Ooh, boy. Now you're given a veer, a split path there. You can choose between two directions. Holy crap, I did not actually... I didn't intentionally trigger that. I don't think I did trigger it. I think that was just him going, hey, you've got a thing. No, you give me your weapon too, because you're just really annoying with it. Ah, oh, dang it. That attack takes too long. People are, people have been asking me a lot of things about why I play the way I do. And why I'm just generally, like, overall just terrible at this crap. Like, like, they want me to use certain attacks more often. There we go. Want me to use certain attacks more often. And are you going to give me that thing or not? Or why I just use one attack over and over again. And I've really said from the beginning of the game that I'm not super great at this. So I'm fighting using a strategy that works for me. Other people have commented about how boring the combat is, and for me, this isn't boring, because I'm actually having a hard time. But, if this looks boring to you, turn the difficulty up. The enemy AI improves, no, they don't just get more health or whatever. 
add to that there's like four difficulties and I'm playing the easiest. Ah, that is right. Nana has a little Nephilim partner. And it too is going to be going away. When the appropriate... You are a jerk, man. When the fallen angel is destroyed... I'll just punch both of you. Whatever. Yes, even with the Gale, why do I only use the one attack? Why don't I use other attacks with other things? Holy crap, this is like impossible. Yeah! Oh, guess not. That's right, I'm getting tired of your crap. Dodging around like an idiot. I can block all day long. I got a friggin' veil. You think that's gonna stop me? Kinda needed a new weapon. Holy crap, man, I was guarding. What's your deal? Heck with you. Taking Miguel back. Then people say, oh, why do I only use one attack with the Gale? Well, as has been, the Gale is the weakest weapon in the world, and this isn't very powerful. The one standing still strong attack is really powerful, but it also locks your mobility a great deal, and I kind of get stomped if I don't have my mobility. So I like doing the jumping in the air charge attack to hit dudes, if only because it does damage, and it keeps me on the move. And you actually have to be quick here, because they do fall behind you. But you only have to make it up the first few stairs. Yeah. <laughs> 